Well, tonight, for the second time in a matter of months, a deadly shooting near the campus of Morgan State University. Those gunshots left one man dead, another injured, and a community in shock, demanding something must change. Hello, I'm Denise Koch. And I'm Rick Ritter. Welcome to those of you watching on CBS News Baltimore and right here on WJZ. And WJZ live at 4 o'clock this afternoon. Jessica Albert joins us now near the scene. This is on Havenwood Road, right in northeast Baltimore. So, Jessica, I know you've been talking to people in that community. What are they telling you? Well, I've learned, Vic and De Rick and Denise, that there have been about 80 calls of service for service here by police in the last three months. This gas station has been closed all day. It just opened up about an hour ago, and you can see how busy it is here tonight. Baltimore police tell me that at least two people walked up to this gas station last night and fired several shots all around the building and in the parking lot here. People tell me today that they are concerned about getting gas here. The day after a double shooting at this gas station in the Northwood Common Shopping Center. This place was a bar they lost their liquor license years ago. People who live and work in the area are concerned. So concerned they didn't want to show their face on camera. It's terrible. It's normally 10, 15 guys hanging out there in the gas station, in the store, hanging outside the store. Around 645 Sunday night, Baltimore police say two men were shot here. A 22-year-old and a 56-year-old who died after being shot in his head. Investigators say at least two people walked up to the gas station, opened fire, and then ran off. Dozens of evidence markers were on the ground. Bullets flew inside the store. In my mind, I was like, I wonder if a lot happens over here because it just looks like it's a lot of people and a lot of commotion over here. WJZ obtained a call for service log for the gas station. Over the last three months, there have been about 80. About 30 of them were for a disorderly person. About 20 were calls so an officer could be present at the gas station. Even though the business was closed on Monday, WJZ went inside and spoke with the owner who did not want to go on camera. He told us he's owned it for about 20 years and that he does have armed security. Security. He says he plans to strengthen it. The shopping center was renovated a few years ago. It now has a new grocery store and other shops. Customers worry this crime will drive businesses away. It was just so sad that such a good development for this neighborhood and this part of the city should have to suffer from, you know, one more criminal dangerous incident going on. And this shooting was one of six that happened uh, over the weekend. Three people were murdered in the city and four others were injured. We are working, uh, I'm sorry, if you know anything about this shooting, police say that they want you to give them a call. Reporting live in Baltimore, Jessica Alpert for WJZ.